Today we're taking a look at our second camera from Aver. Again, Microsoft Teams certified as well as Zoom certified and several other platform certifications out there. The Cam 540 4K conference camera from Aver. The previous camera we looked at was the Cam 520 Pro and it was a 1080p camera. This is our 4K camera. We're gonna take a look at getting this thing unboxed, set up, plugged in, managing it through the PTZ app, and then demonstrate some of that smart frame technology as well as using it within Microsoft Teams and recording a frame with it in 4K. Okay, let's let the unboxing begin, shall we? Okay, now that we got the contents out of the box, let's take a look at what we've got. Of course, as with any piece of hardware we ever get, you've got your quick installation guide, your warnings, your warranties, all that other fun stuff. Um, we'll go over these components here. It shows us our package contents, okay? Right up top, we've got the camera itself, the 540, our 4K camera. We've got the remote control with the two AAA batteries. We've got our power adapter, uh, power plug there, and then the USB cable so we can plug from the camera into uh, our laptop or a room system. We've got the L-mount bracket here, the screws for that mount, and then of course what we're holding in our hands, the quick guide and warranty card. Finally, there's the USB type A to type C adapter. Let's open the box and check out some of these pieces. Okay, there's that L mount that we talked about. Slipping the cardboard off and getting our plastic off. Take a look at that up close. Uh, obviously, this is the portion that would go up on the wall. The camera would sit right up here. Those two screws would go right down here through the bottom of the plate and into the camera itself. That's how we can get it mounted on a wall if we want it to be at the front of the room or in some stationary position in a conference room. Carefully remove our plastic. And there it is, 540. Obviously a little different form factor from the 520 Pro. We'll go over all these components in just one moment. There is the camera. I'm gonna get that protective strip off our IR sensor there. All right, let's open this box. Okay, there is the part of the power cable right there. And here's the other portion of the power cable itself. go power cable there is our USB C USB and there is our USB C to USB A we will be plugging the USB C into the back of the camera USB A goes into either your laptop or a room system and there is the remote control. If you saw the Cam 520 Pro video I did, this remote control is exactly the same. And then in all of this wrapping here, or bubble wrap, we've got those two AAA batteries for our uh, remote control and we've got our USB-A to USB-C adapter here, just in case we have a USB port that we wanna plug into on our MTR or our uh, laptop. Let's get a closer look at this Cam 540. Again, this is a 
4K conference camera from Aver. There should be no confusion at all about who it's from with the labeling on the front. Now, as you'll see up front, this says 4K zoom lens, and it does have up to 16 times zoom on it. So that's pretty, uh, pretty powerful zoom capabilities there. Uh, flipping it around to the back, take a look at these ports up close. We've got our power over on the left-hand side, an RS-232 port, should we ever want to use that. You've got the USB-C port right there as well with the little screw above it. Uh, as we noticed that cable had a little uh, screw at the top that you can use to keep the cable securely attached to the device so it doesn't get yanked out on accident. There's a little reset button right recessed into there. And then finally that Kensington lock, should we want to lock it in place. Nobody wants to see a 4K camera go wandering off. At the very bottom, we've got the grippy legs down here to keep it in place should it be sitting on a surface. And if it's mounted, these are those two screw holes that we saw or that we talked about earlier with the mount. The, uh, the mount will sit right over top of it like this and those screws will go in right there holding the device firmly in place wherever it happens to be mount mounted from. Again, you've got that IR sensor up front to detect motion and see where you're at. Um, there's quite a full range of motion here. We've got the uh, pan is able to be plus or minus 160 degrees. The tilt is 90 degrees up and 30 degrees down. And our field of view is an 86 degree diagonal. We'll take a look at all the advanced settings for this device once we get into the PTZ app. That is an up close and personal look at the Cam 540 4K camera from Aver. I mentioned that we took a look at the remote control, which is the same remote controller in our previous uh, Cam 520 Pro demo, but let's go over that here as well. You've got which camera you want to select because you can have this thing talking to three different cameras if you just so desire. You've got your PTZ controls up top and this button in the middle is your selection maker. Uh, you've got the smart Lumi button here. We've got our mute and unmute there as well. We've got these zoom in and out, our audio up and down, and then the preset button. You'll click the preset button to choose one of 10 presets that you can configure for camera positioning to start with. You've got brightness settings right here as well, negative brightness, positive brightness, and then you can answer and hang up calls for uh, models that are uh, eligible for that feature and functionality. That is the remote control for Aver conference cams and the capabilities. All right, let's plug this thing in for the first time. Watch it come alive and go through the motions. And then we will take a look at its use within the PTZ app and Microsoft Teams. I am plugging it in right now. And as soon as I do, it wakes up, starts doing its rotations. Going through the full range of motion, coming alive for the first time. Okay, we are on the laptop. We've got the Cam 540 plugged into the laptop via USB, and we have the PTZ app up. We can see that the Cam 540 has been detected. As a matter of fact, when I first plugged this in and brought the PTZ app up, it detected that we had an update we needed to run. So we updated the machine, or the, the camera I should say. It ran through its processes, restarted, and we are good to go. Freshly updated and ready to take a look at the settings. The Aver PTZ app is indeed where you manage all those settings. You set up your presets, you look at all your camera quality, your smart framing settings, all that good stuff. This first screen here that we're on, the PTZ screen, is clearly where we manage the position of the camera, zooming in and out. We've got backlight controls that we can turn on or off, the smart framing button, and we can bind to other cameras if we are using other cameras as far as the, uh, the remote control goes. Um, this little do-jabber up here is our camera view. It's off right now. We'll click that to toggle it on in just a moment. The camera settings, going to the top, I'm gonna show you what we have selected here. And this is where I would put the settings if you're looking to use the smart framing technology. 
we've got all this different stuff going on up here in terms of the quality. I'm gonna leave those alone because I'll just screw things up if I mess with them. But we've got flip capability for the picture, mirroring of the picture. Um, we've got a tracking mode. Okay, there's a lot of other settings I'm skipping over because I'm not really familiar with them. But if you are a uh, video aficionado, you'll recognize a lot of this and, and see what you can do in here. The tracking mode, you can have it manual frame. It was manual frame by default for me, but I turned it to auto frame or you can just turn framing off. Uh, for the tracking. The smart frame preset point. So this is where, when you click the smart frame button, where the camera defaults back to before it does its calculation and determines where to frame from. Uh, there is a default point here that is the center part of the screen. Otherwise, there are 10 other presets that you can set this to. Uh, on the on-screen menu, this is referring to um, letting you know which preset is there by displaying it on the screen, letting you know whether the uh, framing is happening or not. It puts a little message on the screen showing you that. You can turn that off if you don't want that there. The autofocus, you've got PTZ or continuous, and I am leaving it on PTZ here for uh, those capabilities. Hotkey control, your home position that you want it to, every time it starts up, where do you want it to go to? Uh, the sleep position, you can either put it at the factory sleep position or preset nine. And then the sleep timer down here at the bottom. How long does it take before this thing decides it's ready to, uh, to go back to its sleep position? Let's save what we've got. I don't think I changed anything. And over on our diagnostics utility, you've got the software version, firmware version, and the serial number. You can check for updates down here. And then we've got our troubleshooting and test camera buttons as well not doing either of those right now. So let's go back to PTZ, toggle it on, camera wakes up, flips around, there we go. Um, if we want to, now the thing I wanna mention about smart framing, it requires a one meter minimum. So if you have smart framing turned on and you're testing at this point and you've got the camera sitting right in front of you, if it doesn't do what you expect it to do, it may be that you need to give a little bit of space. It requires one meter minimum. Uh, so there you go. We can use our controls on screen for moving the camera around. We click that smart framing button and it'll take it back to its default position. Uh, we can also control with our camera or with our remote control here, right? We've got the ability to go up, go over to the side, go back down, choose your presets. You can zoom in. And finally, we can bring it back to its default position on the uh, on the smart Lumi button is what we use here. So I'm gonna set the remote off to the side. That's all there is for the PTZ app. Let's take a look at recording this thing in 4K and then using it in a Microsoft Teams meeting. So right now we're using XSplit recorder uh, with the AverCam 540 to record in 4K. Uh, we're going to also demonstrate while we're here recording using XSplit in 4K, I'm gonna be stepping off to the side, letting the smart framing catch up and find me, and then we'll step back to the other side, let the same thing happen. That would be demonstrate both our 4K recording as well as the smart framing technology. So let's step on over to the side here, and we'll wait patiently while we look at the camera and we talk so that it can detect where we are and do its thing. Uh, the smart framing can take a few seconds to kind of read the room, understand that something has changed, and then find the people and act accordingly. There we go, it's picked up, knows where I'm at. So now that we've got the camera seeing that we're over here, I'm gonna step over that way and we'll watch it follow us on over in just a couple seconds. So first, when it detects me moving, it goes back to the center of the room in just a second here, it'll detect that I've moved out of the center and it'll frame me into the ideal position. And that way we get a feel for what the smart framing capability is like through the AverCam 540. There it is, found me, framed me in, even though I'm almost kind of half hiding behind the, the recording device here. Uh, that's smart framing and this is recording in 4K. Okay, given that this is a certified Microsoft Teams device, even though we've demonstrated the smart framing capabilities as well as the 4K recording capabilities, I wanted to pull it up in Microsoft Teams. Now again, keep in mind that Microsoft Teams maxes out at 1080p, not the same experience. We've got Microsoft Teams open. 
taking a look at our settings. We've got AverCam 540 down there. All good. We'll click join. Teams is going to warn us about being on mute and we'll just ignore that. But I just wanted to demonstrate a very quick, there you go. We'll just say unmute and it will do whatever it's going to do. But very quick, it's nighttime. We've got lights on, some odd lighting and all that happening in here. But the AverCam 540 is recording. It is our personal device at the moment. You can, of course, use it as a personal device if you want as a very nice high end personal device or you can use it in a conference room, mounted, set it on a table at the front of, front of the room, whatever the experience is. Uh, but there you go, using the AverCam 540 in a Microsoft Teams meeting. So there you have it, the AverCam 540, certified from Microsoft Teams, 4K PTZ camera, smart framing technologies, 10 presets, the PTZ app to manage its settings and update the device. If you found the overview helpful or entertaining or any of the above, I greatly appreciate it if you click that little red button below and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not already. And then make sure you turn on the notifications so that every time I come out with yet another device overview, you can geek out with me. Thanks again for watching. Please splash it around social media. And I hope we'll see you back here for the next product overview and demo.